everyone. Welcome to another episode in the Far West demo series. Uh, today we've got a scenario set up. It's a pretty common, uh, a pretty common scene. We've got a forklift that has punctured a barrel full of unknown liquid. Today we're going to talk about how to approach this scene, how to protect ourselves, and then we're also going to talk about how to stop this leak. We're going to use a flow stop football. Basically, it is a resin soaked sponge uh, that we're going to be able to use, put into that hole form it around that hole and it's going to harden in a very, very short amount of time, actually using the liquid coming out of that barrel uh, to activate that resin and harden. All right. First and foremost, we're going to talk about protection. Uh, what we have is when we approach something like this and we have an unknown, we're going to want to protect ourselves first and foremost, make sure that it's not too volatile, that you have proper BA uh, or you have breathing apparatus and also that you're doing proper air monitoring if it is a volatile liquid. If it's not a heavy hydrocarbon or a fuel, something like that, you definitely want to protect your clothes. If you're in turnout gear, you don't want to ruin a $3,000 pair of pants. You want to make sure you have something like disposable chaps that are going to be able to protect you. These right here are made by Kaplar, and they are disposable chaps that just go right over your basic clothes. Uh, we also have a nice jacket uh, for us that's going to give us a little bit of safety, and it's going to be also chemical resistant against those fuels or any other volatiles. So the first thing we're going to do Make sure we have some good nitrile gloves on that are chemical resistant. And we're going to use one of these flow stop footballs, okay? These come in a nice little foil bag here. They have a pretty good shelf life of about three years. Once we do that, it's going to come in a hard bag like this, okay? We're going to actually open this bag. All right, so once we open up this package, we then get that resin soak sponge. The first thing we're going to do is either take some water or we're going to actually take the product that's, that we're going to be trying to plug. If it's diesel fuel or uh, acetone, something of that nature, we're going to add a little bit in here to this bag and we're going to start squeezing and squeezing. Basically what this is going to do is the product and the moisture is actually going to start activating the resin that is in that sponge. Get rid of our trash over here. And what you want to do is you want to really start working that. What you're going to do is you're actually going to feel that chemical reaction start to happen and that football is going to start heating up, okay? You're going to feel it start to get warmer and warmer as that chemical reaction takes place. Once we feel like it is properly saturated, we can take that sponge out, okay? As you can see, it is still pliable. You got that resin soaked on there and we're going to take it and start working it in fairly forcefully into that hole. If you have wooden wedges, anything like that, that you typically use, you can also use those in conjunction with this football. It'll actually wrap around those wooden wedges. Again, you will see as you continue to work this thing, you will feel that it will start to get warmer and warmer as that chemical reaction gets stronger and that resin starts to harden. And what it's actually doing is forming to the hole inside this drum. From this point on, You can then take some plug and dike, start working your plug and dike around the sponge as well. And this will automatically start to harden. And within about three or four minutes, it'll be hard as a rock. And there's still a little bit of liquid trickling out. Again, it is still working itself into that hole. And it is already starting to get quite a bit harder now, as you can see. Once this fully sets, we can then again, use plug and dike just to get around the edges. Take this, put it in an overpack. We recommend Spiltex 95 gallon wheeled over, overpack. It's a really, really good product. Put the barrel in there, seal it up, label it, and make sure you're uh, uh, safe, good to go, and start cleaning up your scene after that. Any questions, please see our website, farwestenv.com.